Hello and welcome back, Josh, Simon, anyone else who's watching, to Le Vive and Let Die Champions Edition. Uh, we are the champions of Europe, and you'll see what we've done um, in the transfer window. Not uh, huge amounts, uh, it's got to be said, um, mostly just keeping people where we are and tying them down to decent contracts. Uh, but yes, uh, things are going well, so let's have a look. That's what we've got going on in the old uh, bank. So uh, obviously we see here we are one, two, three, four, five Premier League title reigns in. Uh, we are still not recommended by the league. Oh, so the media have now changed their prediction to second. We were predicted third. Um, our chairman wants to sell the club apparently, although I've only just noticed that. Um, and what was I going to say? Uh, the... Guys, no, what fuck, what was it I was going to say? Um, yeah, don't know, can't remember. Oh well, never mind. Anyway, so let's look at some fixtures um, because we have to play. Like, I mean, what the hell is going on here, right? So we bought a player off of Yedo, we'll talk about it in a minute, but apparently we have to play a friendly other, against them five games deep into our season. Uh, we also have to play uh, the <laughs> fucking Super Cup against FC Copenhagen in. Like, like that's like a third of the way through our season that we're playing the Super Cup. Um, the Champions League final was the twenty, the thirtieth of May. It's now the seventh of July, so it's been just over a month. Uh, we've played everybody uh, that we were set up to play against: uh, Klitschbock, Lech, Arca, and one team that was technically even still in last season, and we've won all those games. And now we're going to play Krivbas in the Super Cup, and then we'll probably play Gavilla as well, just to so so that we can see at least some league football this year. Um, yeah, Copenhagen won the final of the uh, Europa League last season um, after a little bit of uh, messing around. They won the Europa League last year. Where was it? That yeah, of course. And we mentioned they came runners up. I think I mentioned this anyway. Uh, they beat. Udinese in the final and now it, that means that we have a fun little rivalry um, because we get to play them next um, but yes uh, let's look at our fixtures uh, sorry no let's not let's look at our transfers history uh, so we've only signed three players and we've sold quite a few um, it's because basically quite a lot of these players are leaving um, because they were bought in like a big old tranche about ten, well four years ago and uh, none of, not very many of them have met up with their um, potential, at least in terms of a bit more. Uh, because of uh, things that I've discussed before, uh, the league that they play in in my under 21s is supremely uncompetitive. Uh, they don't, I mean, they have now got good uh, training facilities at least, but uh, whatever. You, you'll be able to see as well in a moment that I have tried to uh, make an amends for this. So we lost uh, Gonzalo Godoy, um, the player who I signed a few years ago for two and a half million. We made a loss on him, but he goes uh, to Antaliaspor. Uh, he just wasn't getting enough game time. There's not enough, and it's better for him to uh, go out and get some, some playing time rather than us keep him here just because he could be a backup. He's too old now. Uh, we sent Rene Schiller off on loan to Mattersburg. I tried to sell him for a million, but he rejected the loan because he's a douche. Um, we sold Vladislav Poryasov, um, who is a goalkeeper who I signed for 55k. I signed him for 18k. Not the worst in the world, but obviously losing money. To First Division Chana Moretz, Russia. So we have a Chana Moretz in our league. They have a Chana Moretz in their league. Um, we got rid of Alejandro and... Tolines, who did play a few games for us over the course of his time at the club. Uh, we sold him for as much money as we bought him for, uh, and he's gone off uh, to Kiryat Shmona, which is in the uh, Israeli Premier League, so well done to him. Um, then there's a bunch of players who you might not even remember because quite a lot of them are Ukrainian youth players, but they've all gone. Uh, only uh, Eugene Ponomarenko hasn't managed to find himself a club. Uh, he did come through here, though. Um, during the time when the, the training facilities were dreadful, uh, the ne the big science sellings, Sal sales, uh, Admiral Herbert, uh, Admiral Herbert, having spent quite a lot of last season injured, um, despite being a good performer, has gone for a big profit to Sampdoria. Um, so well done him, thank you for your service. Uh, similarly, um, Ronnie Vera, uh, having started the Champions League final for us, literally about two weeks ago. 
um, has been sold for seven and a half million, which I think you can agree is quite a lot of money for how good he is, uh, to Real Sociedad, um, and that's a big increase on the money we paid for him. So whilst we lose money on some of these guys, we make the money back on these kind of players. Um, Speaking of uh, David Sinsadzi, um, the striker slash centre back who I signed, thinking we would be able to at least make him into a good centre back, uh, he has become neither, and so he goes off to Jagiellonia. Uh, we sold Mario Sichla or Chila um, off to Teplitza, and we signed him for two hundred and seventy-five. And then I think we, he went out on loan to them with money, although as I've mentioned before, it doesn't actually record that. So uh, he went on loan to them. They bought him for two hundred and fifty k. Fine, whatever. Uh, we then sent two guys out on loan who I actually think are quite good guys. Uh, Yuri Kontadalov and uh, Roberto Gonzalez have gone off to Lechia Gdansk, who've just been promoted to the uh, Polish extra class. Um, so those two guys are on loan at our feeder club, Lechia, um, hoping that they can get some good um, playing time there and develop a little bit whilst also keeping Lechia in the division. Uh, we then got rid of Aviran Tubi. Uh, you'll remember that uh, I signed him to keep one of our players happy. Um, I actually somehow managed to get a a, um, a uh, profit on him. <laughs> so great, he never played for us, he never was going to play for us. We made money on him, why not? No problem at all. Uh, then there was a couple of other players, uh, Gaston Fernandez, Gerardo La Spada. Uh, they've been sort of uh, going out on loan for the last couple of years uh, and have you know not improved, so off they go. Um, Bakur has gone to Gornik Zabja. Um, having spent last season on loan there for I think a little bit of money so we made quite a lot of money on him and he wasn't even you know he played quite a lot for us um, but he was never really that good and now he goes to Gornik um, and then there was the only other one that went for oh no so then the last three guys went for quite a lot of money Archimedes uh, Donati um, signed him for 400k uh, spent the last year on loan of Volin, who got relegated, and then he has now moved on to Yablonets in the Czech divisions. Um, we also sold uh, Pedro Corti, who's a pretty poor striker, who I spent £600,000 on. Uh, he's gone to Dacia in the Moldovan League. So, well done. I don't know where the hell they got £1 million from, but they've given it all to us. And uh, Juan Pablo Quiroga, a player who I thought would probably come through and maybe... If we had played him a bit more, he would have, but he is only 5'11", so for a centre-back, that's not great. Um, we sent him on loan to Godoy twice. Um, they, we got money for him on at least one of those occasions, and now we've made £1.5 from him, so we did at least end up making a profit back on him too. Uh, then we've brought in three players. Uh, Raymond Cullen, uh, with the intention of replacing um, Admiral Herbert. He comes in on a free from Celtic. Uh, where he's been playing very, very well. Uh, he played for ages for University College Dublin. <laughs> okay, well, well done, Raymond. Um, we also signed Salvador from um, Oviedo. That's where we. Uh, that's where we uh, will be. That's the reason we're playing the um, friendly against them. He's pretty good. I mean, I'd, we obviously ideally have someone a lot better than him, but his intention is the backup to uh, determined Henry, and he's a better backup uh, than. Ronnie Vera was. And then I did go out and get uh, Askabek Kokoyev, the guy who scored the sensational goal in our defeat to Olympic Donetsk in the last game, or sorry, in our win over Donetsk in the last game of the season uh, it, last year. I signed him after they requested initially a bunch of millions. We signed him for 600k, and uh, hopefully he'll come on and be okay at least. Uh, but we'll see. I might try and send him out on loan. I did try and get another. Uh, feeder club but so far I haven't been able to so maybe we could send him to Dobro oh but he's a youth contracted player Ukraine is stupid okay well anyway those are the players that I have signed and sold I did try and get another goalkeeper in because I realised that uh, the the um, what's the tournament called in South America the Copper America that's the one uh, that is currently ongoing, and um, obviously they don't care about the Ukrainian league for some reason, so we're not going to have a goalkeeper, our first home goalkeeper, until I think the 27th, which means that we're going to miss quite a few games. Um, so we've got a young team, a youth team goalkeeper in there, the best one we can get, and I've been trying to find a replacement, uh, but so far haven't got one. Um, so let's see how the squad looks for now. Uh, let's just quickly clear the bench so we can properly set everything up. Do, 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 do. And goalkeeper, yes. So Santiago Maya, he's out until the 26th. 
So for now, we're playing Eugene Klyushnichenko. Uh, he's come through at Lviv. He's actually okay uh, for a player who's come through at Lviv. Uh, he's not good, but, you know, he's okay. Uh, so he's in goal. <laughs> Lucky him. Well done, you, mate. Uh, we're going to now give him the best we can uh, in terms of players in front of him. Uh, we're going to bring through... Oh, no, Bedeni's injured, so Zion. Then we'll play Voska Biniak, Gonzalez, and... Alexeyev. Oh, no. Okay. Alexeyev can play instead of Ashkenazi. There we go. Now, in our midfield, we will play with Panda Gotu over there on the bench. Raymond Cullen on the bench. Determined Henry on the bench. But actually, he'll play instead of him. And up front, we will put... Uh, 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 Ivan Marino is also on holiday with the international side. Harris Planinsek is out injured for a few days. Borovkov, I cannot sell, so he's going to go in the 21s. And Bellinger will get there. Uh, Rosic will play with a youth team striker called Ludek Holosek, who's an okay player, and why not play him, considering I spent £2.5 million on him. Why not at least get him to play one game? Um, this is him. He shall have number 31, and Klos Nienko, uh, sorry, Klo Kliushnichenko gets the number 22 because it's the first one that isn't assigned in the list. Uh, they are playing at 3 5 2, uh, which I think um, Dnipro also played against this last season. Uh, didn't do them any good. Um, we've I had a comment in the press where they said to me, uh, uh, There are some suggestions that your squad isn't big enough. Uh, it definitely is true that at the moment, because we've got players on international duty, that uh, the squad isn't as big as we'd like it to be. Um, but we still have plenty of players. The, the only play position we don't have a suitable backup for is goalkeeper. Um, so I'm still keeping an eye out on that. Um, but frankly, no one expects us to repeat our Champions League victory. Um, so we just need to not embarrass ourselves and really my aim this season is to do okay in the Champions League uh, you know do our best but really what I want to do is win the Super Cup and the World Club World Cup because I feel like that's fun <laughs> um, oh the ball comes in and Holosek has given a foul um, yeah I want to win those two competitions um, and just add our name uh, you know give us something new that we've not won before uh, notable because for Schlansk, for example, we didn't win the Super Cup, the European Super Cup, when we um, when we won the Europa League, we lost to Manchester United, um, and I therefore didn't, and well, not therefore, but we also didn't get a chance to uh, take part in the Club World Cup with them. So I think it would just be nice uh, to rip through everybody else. Oh, nice ball from Rosic. I think it was probably a shot. Um, towards the back post there with a little chipped lob, but uh, no. Kamara now giving the ball to Determined Henry. Determined Henry, what are you going to do with it, boy? Kamara to Donko. Donko puts the ball to the back post and Bostal is there. It's all too easy, just a simple ball across the six-yard box. I'm not really sure why the keeper, for example, didn't come out or why one of the defenders didn't try and intercept it, but we are 1-0 up in the competition that pretty much just needs our name written on it. Um at this point because we've won it so many times in a row uh, I think this would be seven although I might be wrong it might only be six no it must be seven or eight even because we've lost um, every, like since we won the league we've either won the league or the cup every year and we've never lost in this competition <laughs> uh, determined Henry oh I think, I think he went for it there uh, but it's unfortunately uh, whipped over the crossbar uh, what I also want is for Rosic to get his 150th goal for the club. I mean, he will almost certainly do that because it's only one away. Uh, ideally, I'd like Rosic to end up with 200 or 200 plus goals for the club uh, to set a nice record for someone to try and beat in the future. Um, probably Planinsek will be the first person who could potentially steal that from him. Uh, Vishan has sent the ball out for a corner. Kofi Donkor now with the ball. Nope. Holosek goes to take, get it, but Apara takes it and gives it one great big welly up the pitch. Uh, Alexeyev, uh, big Georgian Mick now, huge ball. Holosek running onto it, or Holosek, I'm not, I'm not sure. There's no little sort of hat over the sea. I'm not even sure there can be a hat over the sea. Uh, anyway, um, Benitez saves. Uh, I think it's probably a sound um, based on 
various Eastern European and Central European languages that I know very little about. So it's probably Holosec. Um, so there we go, that's what we're going to call him, Holosec. Uh, please how things are going, keep it up. And I'm going to calmly say there's a lot more to come. Uh, Krivbas, we've sort of fallen into a rhythm of beating them pretty consistently, but they do spring on us the odd surprise. Uh, last year, for example, the first game of the season, uh, they beat us 3-2. Um, oh, Rosic, come on, mate. Uh, they beat us 3-2. It was the only defeat we suffered all year uh, in the league. <laughs> we, in fact, only lost three games entirely last season. One to uh, Kruvbas. Who's got injured? Holosek. Nice, nice one. Um, one to Kruvbas, one to Swindon Town, and one to Chelsea. They were the only defeats we had in the entire season, um, <laughs> which is pretty good. Um, Bostal. Bostal. His effort. Started scoring a lot more goals. I think uh, it took him a little while to bed in at the beginning of last season, uh, but certainly after Christmas he was absolutely on fire. Uh, Belanger now with the ball out to Kofi Donkor. Kofi Donkor tries to put the ball in the middle but doesn't. Gogwa wins the ball in the air. Determined Henry to Bostel. Bostel's shot goes wide. I've clicked the wrong button, guys. Oh, no, I haven't. Ah, Pause. I'm going to bring on Raymond Cullen, give him his debut, and I'd also like to bring on someone else for a debut. Let's bring on Salvador as well. Why the heck not? Change things up, show the guys in the middle off to the new fa to the fans. Uh, we've got a lot more season ticket holders this year. Um, I think we've got something like five times as many as we had before. Uh, we're also finally the second. We're at, yeah, we're also the second biggest club in the Ukraine. Previously, we were something like the sixth biggest club, despite having won, as I said, all the recent titles in pretty much every competition you can. Uh, Belange is injured, and we now have made all our subs. Cool game, thanks, bro. Uh, yeah. So what? <laughs> Uh, the, the, the the press will not stop asking me if I'm planning to sign uh, Juventus. Is, uh, they've got a 27-year-old oh, Argentinian striker um, who is pretty... I mean, he'd be sensational in Ukraine, of course, um, but he's a bit old. And, and like, so I think it would be £5 million to sign him. I'm not 100% sure I want to, uh, although it depends how injured Belanger's now going to be, I suppose. Donkor has the ball, though. We're going to get a goal. Rosic must do. No, he... Well, I'm not sure quite how his header only went less than a foot, but Benitez held onto it nicely, uh, probably very relievedly. No! Could this be Daniel Torre? Was it da is it Daniel Torre or David Torre? Or, or Daniel Torre has scored, and this is the first time possibly ever that it's looked in doubt that we will win this competition. Um, and we are down to 10 men, so that the opportunity for us to go forward here is going to be lacked. Are we going to go to penalties? Actually, do we think... Have we been to penalties in this competition before? I think we did. Uh, let's take all these off and go from the beginning. Right, Kofi Donkor. Okay, whatever. And then after that, it doesn't matter. It'll be Cullen, anyway. So we're going to penalties in the Super Cup. Not an ideal situation. Uh, Donkor, though, he buries his penalty with absolute professionalism. Kofi Donkor, what a player. Um, poor, oh, his debut for the club, penalty shootout. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, he's also not, not very good, whereas this guy's an actual first-team goalkeeper. So, uh, Rosic, I don't think I've ever seen him take a penalty. And that'd be why. For fuck's sake, I mean... Fucking kidding me. <sighs> yeah. That's annoying. We we win this competition so regularly. Salvador looks calm as he steps up. He'll probably whack it over. Oh yeah, great, straight down the middle. Well, yeah, please. Thank you. We can't win everything, but I mean, come on. They can't bear to watch. Well, it doesn't matter, does it? Because we're not going to win. What the hell was that? Uh, well. 
We should really sympathise. That was pathetic. We dominated them. And we had three chances. Fuck. That's the first time we've ever lost that competition. One, two, three, four, five, six years in a row. <sighs> Benny, oh, he's only up two or three days. That's fine. Um, Cullen, he did well. Whatever. rubbish annoyed i'm annoyed we had a we had a we had a, we had a good thing going on there christ all right we're going to play gavella and we're going to fucking thrash him and i am i am, so yeah okay so i was talking about what the aims for this season are i still want to go a season unbeaten and by that i mean uh, domestically uh, and that doesn't count the super cup because obviously nobody counts the super cup um no, get the fuck away from me. Thank you. They're my players. Stop trying to buy my players. Uh, this is not the guy that they keep r linking me with, but he is pretty good. I mean, his composure is not great, is my initial thought. Um, Bekir Kaba, go for one million. Yep, go on and have him. Pekka, a player that I sold to uh, Swindon, is now on a free transfer available. I'm not going to bring him back, though. He's not that good. <laughs> he made 12 appearances in the Premier League last year. Jesus. <laughs> rubbish. Absolute rubbish from Swindon Town there. Oh, I'm annoyed. We had better smash Gavella now. Okay, so here's the goalkeeper that I'm potentially signing. Nissan... <laughs> Am Salem, uh, he's excellent. His eccentricity is a bit high, but 20 years of age, six foot three. Um, he'll be similarly as good as Santiago Mia, um, and I think that that's good. So I'm going to sign him. In he comes. Uh, he'll play against Tavella, a uh, Gavella. Good. And now we just need to think: Do we have enough players? See, look, everything here is about people wanting to sign my players. Um, Do they have, like, I also try and keep an eye on who Krivbass want to sign, for example, or who from Krivbass's team other people want to sign, and that's so that I can steal them. Mm. Mm, anyone interesting? Maybe him? Avalos? No. Okay. Never mind. Let's go and beat up some Gavellans to make my life feel better. Good. Markov. Uh, interesting teams coming through in the uh, early rounds uh, th because we won the cup uh, it has messed up or well, not messed up it's changed the um, qualification um, and I think our uh, um, coefficient has taken a massive jump uh, because of it so uh, w we now this year instead of having to qualify we just go straight into the Champions League group stages um, and Kriv Bass who came second last year will be in the Champions League um third qualification round I think or possibly they go straight into the last qualification round um, and then we then have three teams or maybe even four teams in the Europa League so if we can continue and keep our end of the bargain up and, and, and keep sort of getting decent results in Europe it doesn't mean we have to win it every year but continually um, keeping that coefficient high uh, that will help with the rest of the teams in the league getting a little bit more competitive or at least the teams who come in the in the European spots and that's not a bad thing um, although it obviously will make my desire to win a league season without being beaten uh, harder but we are only one game away from that so far so I also to be to be perfectly honest what I want is to get perfect points I want to get um, wins in every single game uh, it's going to be a little hard, but uh, it would be fun. <laughs> uh, Rosic, so he's not... So they also don't want to sell him, so it's no chance I'm going to be able to buy him. He's worth that much. They'll want between 7 and $15 million for him. Uh, so I'm just not even going to bother. I might go back to the guy from um, Juventus, but only if... Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. Well, I'll have to make some decisions. Uh, I have a regular team in mind... Kofi Donkor's the best in the world. 
Uh, nope. I am not interested in him. Shakhtar Donetsk are in action against Arsenal Kiev. I'd be surprised if they didn't win that. I'm going to tell the guys that we're going to win the league again, uh, even though the game, for some reason, uh, put up Alexandria's name as if like they thought I might say him. Because usually, I don't know if you've noticed from the press conferences I've done, and I don't know how it works in the more modern games, but in this one, the answer that is the most sensible, according to the game, appears up here. Um, and so in that one, it th themed seemed to suggest that... Um, it seemed to suggest that they thought Alexandria would be the answer I would give. You sit here alongside him. I'm delighted. Yes, he'll be in the first team. First next few years in wind. Well, that's how it's going to have to work. Fans appreciate him. He's looking forward to testing himself on the biggest stage. Utmost confidence. Great. And you're going in the team. Why is the language thing always an issue? Well, of course it's going to be a problem. And also, like, no one in the team is Ukrainian. <laughs> So why would it fucking matter? Every one of them. Although I think that whilst logically speaking, uh, English would be the language that we would probably all speak because we've got such an international squad. Uh, the game, everyone who's just in Ukraine, we all start to learn Ukrainian, anyone that moves to the country. So even if everyone speaks English, all of them would learn Ukrainian just out of the way the game works. Um, so he'll end up speaking Ukrainian anyway. I don't know why they complain. I mean, he's a goalkeeper. It doesn't matter anyway. For us, I'm now not sure what language he would speak. I'm going to have to click on him and see what he... I assume it would be um, Hebrew, right? But it's, yeah. God, I'm having a moment where I completely feel like I don't know anything. <laughs> Vic Skidmore. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a character in a sketch. Um, what languages do you speak, mate? Hebrew and English basic, all right? Yeah, I thought it was Hebrew. I'm not stupid. Um, yeah, okay. Filipovic. Carlo Filipovic. I mean, yeah, nah. Sanchez. From Real, uh, Real Mallorca. I mean, he's really good. Why are they offering him out? And they reckon that he's be worth 15 million. So I could sign him, but I mean, we're not, like we've got Gonzalez. At the, could sell Gonzalez and sign him. I'm going to accept the offer, make the bid, and then decide when I get the report back whether or not we take him. Because that's the beauty of Football Manager, is I can offer him a contract, and then if my scouts say, nah, he's oh crap, and then I can just throw him away. But there must be a reason that he's being offered out from a club like them so unless they've got financial difficulties maybe he's got some kind of injury problems that we don't know about um, but it wouldn't be bad to have him in the team instead of potentially uh, Gonzalez and then we can have Heiko Romback be the guy who's coming through absolutely wouldn't be a problem for me so let's go and have a look Arsenal trial or trail determined Henry although I managed to make him sign a new contract so get stuffed um, young right winger who will be signing for us next year fine uh, now then what's happening here Lviv yes Timchenko cool well then Valine uh, made yourself a good signing right let's beat Gavella they're newly promoted are they? good question no they're not right let's fuck them up okay Rosic Bellinger how is Bellinger oh Bellinger's injured for God's sake all right. Which young player is getting the chance to be in the the squad? Tkachuk. He's not very good. Stakonis. He's okay. Or we've also got Cherifer. There should be a, another one who's good. Kokoyev is obviously the youngster there should be a polish player or is it him Popadinians? no gustavo gomez he's pretty good Gra graham hutchinson <laughs> all right lad <laughs> uh where's the other one then is he not is he already possibly in the no 
Skaken. Who? Oh, where is he? I've lost him. I've gone mad. I'm going completely mad. Okay, who did I say was good? No, I have to do the whole thing again now. Fucking hell. Um, it was him, right? Pavel Stokonis. We'll get him on the bench instead of Bellinger. Sorry, mate, but if you're going to be injured all the time, that's the way it's going to be. Uh, and you, Eugene, you're out. <laughs> Bye. Amsalem gets in there. Uh, we've got a couple of players here who are not registered, but apparently need to be. Shimichenko, Voskobiniak, and Blas Gonzalez. Um, let's give... Who played? It was Alexiev played. Okay, let's play Ashkenazi there. Can he can talk Hebrew with Adam Salem. Um Bostal is apparently tired. Panda go to for go f did that. Good, 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 good. That's the team. Rosic had better fucking step up. Uh what's the secondary goalkeeper number? In this case, it's number sixty nine, because I'm sure a man of his standing would enjoy that. So there we go, number sixty nine. Uh, let's go out there and batter them, please. One more goal for, to reach 150 goals. Their players, this Herbert Becko, who I think we may have sold them. Herbert Becko, way back in the day. No, we had. There's loads of players called Becko from Ghana. Anyway, cool, cool notice, Ben. Cool thing to notice. Right, get out there and you fucking score a goal. Daniel Rossich, if you don't score, I'm going to scream at you. I'm going to scream long and endless screams. Balls to the back post, Musica heads down, and after two minutes we've already missed a fairly simple chance. Classic, us. Big George and Mick to Kamara. Musa Kurt. Kamara. Panda go to now. Gives it to Rossich. Now Rossich, this used to be his bread and butter. Run for 40 yards, score a great goal. But now... Just throws it to Bentz Elek. <laughs> I don't know what's so funny about that. And I don't know what. Here comes the ball in from Determined Henry from a corner. Big Mick heads into the bottom corner. That's his first goal of the season. And we instantly take the lead. Although Krivbas are also winning in an unfortunate turn of events. Uh, Arafawi scored on the first minute of the season. What a bastard. Big Mick, though, header straight across the goalkeeper. Lord knows how he didn't get even a touch on it. Uh, he is a moron moros. Anyway, let's continue and batter these boys. There comes the ball in. Rosic has scored his 150th goal. Thank you. Thank you, Rosic. The ball came in from Shihata. Rosic scored. We are now top. And I don't suspect we'll be dropping off that point at that spot all year. Big ball in. Rosic with a touch and a touch. Touch and a touch. Touch and a ding. Okay. Zukauskas. Zukauskas. Uh, they're playing it around a bit on the left. Axionov, uh, whose name I recognise. Um, <laughs> I mean, why even bother flagging that as offside? We can just carry on. Um, but whatever. Shahata throws the ball forward. Pandagotu collects. Uh, Kamara puts the ball in, but it doesn't quite get round the back. Again, the ball goes to Kamara to determine Henry. Now Gogwa has it. Ashkenazi with the ball, tries to cross, gives it to Shihata in the end, gives it back to Ashkenazi, goes onto his more preferred foot, his right foot, and uh, curls wildly past the post. Moroz, big Mick, nicely done. Rosic, oh, the tackle goes straight to our player. Gogua through to Holosek. Holosek tries to shoot and score, but only does one of those. Um <laughs> That's the way that everyone would say that. Big determined Henry. He's not even big, but he is determined, and his name is Henry. There comes the ball in again. Shahata, a towering header from this diminutive winger at uh, the back post, and we are 3-0 up against Govela. Um, Krivbas, only the 1-0. That's pretty poor. Shows just how much of a limited side they are, really. Uh, lovely ball in. Shahata, great header. Moroz just drops it into his own net. Really, really poor. Um Come on, oh my God, we're, we're rampant. Pantagotu, Pantagotu uh, puts through Holosek, and for the first time he's not offside, but his finish was pretty wild, and he just smashes over. Uh, Moroz now with the ball, with the goal kick, and uh, after a couple of touches, it's back in our possession. 
Uh, Panda go to and Gogo are playing it around in the midfield there. Determined Henry through to Holosek. Holosek shot tipped away by the goalkeeper, uh, possibly his first save of the game. Big Henry's muck ball in. Uh, not Big Henry, Determined Henry. Big Mick. Musa Kurt, Big Mick, speaking of. Musa Kurt, defenders just playing it around amongst themselves, but sort of halfway inside the other team's half. That's how arrogant we are. With the Champions Euro, mate. You'll never sing that, Gavella, because I'm never going to take you over. Be a waste of time. Gogua, Big Mick. Oh, if only we could do some of this with a little more pace. There we go. Shahata went for a long range effort, fires it well over. Um, Krivbas have doubled their lead. Uh, Ashkenazi, can he put the ball in the middle? He can. And Rosic, Rosic has another, a second, almost identical goal. Uh, slightly being tackled in the box and then just tapping home. Lovely stuff. And we are 4 0 up against Gavella. It's only 42 minutes of the season, and we already have a very healthy goal difference. <laughs> Sigh. We are completely in control, and the game is as good as over. Yep, that's pretty much the case. I am pleased. Assertive. There's a lot more to come. There's a lot more to come. Aggressive. No. Mm. There's a lot more to come. Could tell Daniel that I'm disappointed in him, but he has at least finally got over the hump of the uh, 150 goals barrier. Oh, Gogua! The first time ever he's not taking the free the corner when he's on the pitch, he ghosts in and just has to tap home, but smashes like out of the stadium. Because <laughs> um, remember, our stadium's only got enough seats for 12,000 people, so it's not that big. Probably could have whacked that out of the ground. Um, Ashkenazi to Shihata down on the uh, left those two playing well together Shihata gives it to Holosek Shihata and Holosek playing it 1-2 not anymore though Determined Henry through to Holosek Holosek his shot went against the side netting that's disappointing he's been looking complacent um, noted at half time um, I was hoping that my half time team talk might uh, sort of make him do better but so far not oh Pandagotu's shot was Carried straight back to him, and then his secondary effort well wide. Determined Henry's corner. He's been taking some good corners in this game. Determined Henry again with the ball. Gogua through to Pandagotu, probably offside. Wasn't Determined Henry. What's he going to do? Turns and, I mean, hits a fairly weak effort. Uh, it doesn't even affect the keeper. Moroz, I mean, George and Mick just stand sort of like three feet behind the, the other player, easily wins the ball in the air. Uh, Stoikov, they have their first shot of the game, a second shot of the game, sorry, and it was well, well wide. Uh, I'm not impressed with Holosek so far, so we're going to bring on Pavel Stokonis. Um, we're also going to give uh, Raymond Cullen another game, and we're going to let Blas go. No, Vitaly Voskobojnik. Uh, why not let the uh, youngsters play occasionally? Big Mick. Determined Henry. We haven't made our subs yet, so Holosek is probably now going to score. Um, Kamara puts the ball to Henry. Holosek has it, turns, shoots, and scores his debut goal. What a shock. <laughs> uh, excellent goal, um, considering how poor he's been so far, uh, but uh, immediately taken off mid celebration. <laughs> Classic Wheatland, absolutely heartless. Um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a winning machine, guys, and I'm not here for, for celebrating. <laughs> Um, anyway, we're f is it what now? 5-0. Um, we've brought on our three subs. Determined Henry goes for goal himself, but unfortunately his effort, his finishing has been poor today. Um, I'm hoping that the, what was his name? Stukonis can also get a goal. That'd be fun. Uh, Rosic to Henry and Rosic again. Cullen to Kamara. Could we get a Rosic hat-trick? Just to wrap things up here. Determined Henry. Panda go to Kamara. Can he cross? Well... Looks like he's trying to make a space for himself to do so. Kamara to Henry to Pandagotu, whose turn and shot was rushed, and he smashes the ball well, well, wide. 66 minutes gone. We're already top of the league. We've already scored five goals this season. That's very nice. Uh, Rosic with his back to goal gives it to Kamara. Rosic again. He's good at putting the ball in in that situation. The ball deflects off the man and. He's lucky it hits the post and goes out of play. 
Here comes the ball in again. Elek clears. Kamara taken down by Vasily Yatsenko on the edge of the box. We have a free kick. This is usually determined Henry's range from which to miss free kicks. And he does it again. <laughs> oh, man. Moraz not having a good game in goal there. I, I'm still not 100% sure I've seen him make a proper save except for that one little touch from Fella before. There he makes a save there. Um... Oh, and he did save from Pandagotu before as well. Uh, but yeah, we're still dominating. Stokonis had a chance there, but didn't, get, um, didn't hit it away from the goalkeeper enough. Determined Henry now to Pandagotu to Cullen. Would have been a nice debut goal for Cullen, formerly of University College Dublin. Uh, but yeah, anyway, he whacks it over as well. Good to see that he's getting part of the team. Um, so Kauskas turns on the spot slowly and then gives the ball up the line uh, yeah Gavella are not a good side um, winning against them 5-0 at home is not exactly a uh, thing to be screaming about Metalist are winning f by 5 as well or winning have scored 5 sorry against Tavrian newly promoted even less of an achievement um, Cullen Kamara Kamara up again further forward to determined Henry he does Determine Henry has it again. He, I mean, that looked very much like it. He just sort of stood in one place and just caught it in one hand behind him. But whatever. Ashkenazi to Shahata. Ashkenazi again with the ball. Turns, gives it to Cullen. Determine Henry. Can he have a shot? Oh, fucking. I was going to say, will he eventually? Like, so that happens probably. He's, he's a bit like me in real football, 21 1 and 29. Like, he'll have loads of shots to do that. And then he'll just turn and fire an absolute arrow into the top corner and we'll, uh, we'll have a win. Master is here with a plate of chicken, I think. Thank you very much. I'm uh, just finishing this. Thank you. Welcome, Benio. Thank you. Okay, so that's the end of that one then. 5-0. Uh, that, I imagine, sets the, sets the scene for the rest of our season long, uh, like at least our domestic season. Metalist won 6-1, so we're actually not top, uh, which is a shame. Although we still haven't conceded. Um, and yeah, so I, I will probably not uh, see you again until we play the Super Cup. Um, I'm obviously not going to show you that. Um, Super Cup against Kriv, uh, Copenhagen. And we'll, maybe we'll play Kriv Bass and that'll be a top of the table clash and Copenhagen as well. So I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.